Well, it's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so it's the first of two pull fire reviews. There's a lot of boxing going on right now, so there'll be a lot of pull fire reviews coming out. But we'll start with the first one, man. This fight was a fight I was really excited about, and it did not failed to live up to expectations. This is the official post post fight review for Sivanathi Nochinga versus Adrian Curiel 2, the rematch. And the result of the fight is Nochinga gets a devastating come from behind 10th round stoppage victory to once again become the IBF light flyweight champion of the world. He's now the two time light flyweight champion of the world. And it's the second time he's become world champion on Mexican soil. And I think for Nochinga to come back against a fire like Curiel on Mexican soil after such a devastating, embarrassing loss, it, it, it really shows you a lot about his character and his toughness and and his greatness in the sport, you know? And, and um, let's talk about it, man. You know, Curiel had everything on his side going into this fight. You know, they were fighting in Oaxaca and Mexico he fought with a certain determination in this fight. He looked like a fighter that was hungrier to prove to the world that, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm a legitimate champion. It wasn't just a fluke victory in Monaco when I knocked him on two rounds. And, you know, Nochinga, the first like five, six, seven rounds, he really was pissing me off because he let Curio consistently push him back to the ropes and get off to the body and to his credit he was in there and he was trying to land little sharp shots himself and short shots himself but for the most part the way the fight was fought for the first six seven rounds was very favorable to adrian curiel and it wasn't until about the eighth ninth round where nochinga really was able to get his distance and find some success from the outside you saw nochinga from mid-range and outside begin to pick curiel apart with that straight right hand and 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 you saw that, you know, when he was able to do that, he had clear advantages in speed. Um, he used his reach very well. And, um, yeah, just, like, I could use so many positive adjectives to describe some Dr. Nochinga. I, 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 he truthfully is one of my favorite fighters in, the, in, the, in this, in, in boxing. I mean, really, I, I love what he represents. I love the fact that, you know, he's kind of right now carrying African boxing on his back. There's, you know, he's, he was, when he was champion, he was the only current champion from the motherland. Now he's once again the only champion from the motherland, right? So nobody, nobody from Africa is really doing it at that level right now, like Nochinga, right? And, and um, he's had to go to Mexico twice, once to win his world title, now to regain it back, and he's done that. So um, it was just a, honestly, it was a great fight. It was an amazing fight. It was a classic fight. Um, Curio has nothing to hang his head about. I thought he, for the first, you know, seven rounds, eight rounds, uh, he fought a great fight. You know, it, it couldn't have went any better for him. It's just that, you know, when you when you get to this championship level, it's those fine margins. You can't allow the opponent to, to do what he wants to do and get into his game plan, his rhythm, but he did, and that's why he got stopped because he fought a guy in Nochinga tonight who was very determined to become champion again and prove his greatness to the world, re reprove his greatness to the world. And so, um, you know, I believe, he was, I think Nochinga's like 24 or 25. He's young, young guy. At the young age, he's a two-time world champion, two-time champion. And all of a sudden, you look at Nochinga and the world is his oyster again. There's, there's all kinds of options out there for him. I mean, he, he, he could do a trilogy fight with Curiel if they want to do one and bring a fight back to the motherland. Um, Sonny Edwards, who said he wanted to fight the winner of this fight, that could be a fight uh, he wanted to defend against Sonny Edwards. And then I'll, I'll, I'll touch on this because you guys know, I was probably one of the only channels in, on YouTube talking about a Sivanathi Nochinga fight versus Ken Shiro for the, for the Undisputed Lightweight titles. I feel like really and truthfully, that is the Super Bowl of the Life Flyweight Division. That is the best fight that could be made in the Life Flyweight Division. Um, and I think Ken Shiro, if he was able to defeat a young, strong, hungry, skillful, determined fighter like Mochinga, that would really enhance his, re his resume in the sport and, and his chances of potentially going to the Hall of Fame. And I was saying that before Mochinga ever lost to Curio, but now that he knocked out against Curio, has come back, 
won the belt on foreign soil again. I mean, come on, man. How could how could anybody ever t down talk Silver Nathan Ochinga? You know, a, a real true warrior of the sport. Um, Curio is a fantastic light flyweight, honestly. To touch on to touch on Curio a little bit because I know people are fickle. I'm not a fickle boxing fan or or, or content creator here on YouTube. Like Curio spent the more, the majority of his career fighting above the light flyweight limit. He got an opportunity at Life Flyway against Nochinga because he was looked at on paper to be an easy touch. He even in, even in the loss, I think the last fight against Nochinga and for the majority of this fight, he showed that he's a he's a really good fighter at Life Flyway. So I would like to see, you know, Curiel continue to get opportunities at Life Flyway against either Nochinga or or Shokichi Iwata, or Carlos Connie Salas. There's still some great fights out there for him, and I want to see him again. But tonight. It belongs to the South African. It belongs to the man that has South that has African boxing at the world championship level. He's carrying it on his back right now, and um, really and truthfully, like he can do whatever he wants to do. I think when you, when when you've shown the kind of determination and the um, the the resilience that Nochinga has shown, you know you've been a, you can be afforded the opportunity to do whatever the hell it is you please. But I'm, I'm hoping, you know. Um, him and Ken Shiro can get down to business and unify these titles, man, because uh, that's that's a great fight. And um, I, I think, you know, when you look at Nochinga, uh, I thought he showed great defensive poise in the pocket. Um, he's shown a lot in his career. You know, he's shown you boxing skills. He's shown you um, toughness. He's shown you the ability to come back and, and, and become champion. So now the next step for Nochinga is... How long can he stay champion? You know, it's easy to get the it's it's not it's, it's a little easy to get the belt. The hardest part is staying champion. Can he be a dominant, you know, fighter in the life flyweight division, or even if he scales up when he goes to the flyweight? But um, yeah, great fight, just uh, amazing. I, I'm gonna have to sit sit down and actually watch it like with my undivided attention because I was kind of following it as I was following Oshaki Foster. So I'll, I'll there will definitely be an aftermath live for this fight. And we will discuss uh, Nochinga and, and what happens from here. But um, yeah, let, let, let me know what you guys think, man. He's a champion again. Leave your comments down below. Um, what did you make of the fight? Who do you want to see him fight next? All that good stuff. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on The Untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure to subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.